Always low, low prices at Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza. Deputy Weaver with the Nye County Sheriff's Office joined Armed Air Force Security to take into custody a trespasser who had set up residence, which included an eight-man tent, washing machine, and power inversion equipment, and packages with the subject's name on them at the Nevada Test and Training Range in Beatty. According to the declaration of arrest on March 27th, the deputy responded to the Nevada Test and Training Range for a report of a possible trespassing violation. Upon arrival, Deputy Weaver was escorted to Bombing Range 77 by contract security. While officers attempted to locate the subject, they were notified by security personnel that they noticed movement on a ridgeline adjacent to the officer's position. They drove to that area and located two Connex containers with the doors propped open. As the officers approached one of the Connex containers, they could hear movement inside. The deputy announced himself and told the person inside to come out with his hands raised. According to the report, the subject inside, later identified as Steve DeLeon, responded that he was not coming out and that he was armed. The deputy says that he was able to see inside the Connex container that DeLeon had a knife in his hand and reportedly told him to drop the knife. DeLeon responded that the officers were spying on him, according to the report. Officers advised that he is trespassing on a government installation. Following the standoff, which included armed personnel from the Nevada Test and Training Range and the Nye County Sheriff's Office, Steve DeLeon dropped his weapon and was taken into custody. The suspect had allegedly cut two padlocks off two Connex containers and also cut a lock and chain off an empty control gate to the Bombing Range 77, which is a restricted access government property in possession of the United States Air Force. And there are multiple trespass warning signs throughout the property. Inside one of the Connex containers, officers observed a fully functional living area that had been constructed by DeLeon. Also inside were two sets of bolt cutters and one pry bar. Steve DeLeon is facing charges of an assault on a protected person with a deadly weapon possession of burglary tools, interfering with the public officers by threat, force, and violence, and trespassing and burglary of a structure.